So this is me after the uh, 23 hour flight to Amsterdam. One of the very first things I did was uh, walk out of shower and then run out to find this sign which was a few blocks away from my, from my phone. So anyway, I'm Ash Kidd. Uh, I was recently invited to speak at FrontiersConf in Amsterdam about WebAssembly, which was very exciting. Uh, you may have seen the talk a few months back. Uh, when I got to Amsterdam, I realized I can read Dutch. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> old beer here, what do you uh, so Frontiers Conference was in this old uh, uh, cinema, it is, it's amazing, uh, hugely old, cinema by, cinema by night, and by day they tore it all down, put up all the banners and, and set up all the AV equipment for the conference, so each evening they had to tear it all back down again so that it could become cinema. And there's Jason Scott wearing one of his patented uh, outlandish suits. Here's the audience, we had a uh, A-frame uh, a in WebVR talk, which was pretty sweet. Uh, everyone was immersed in that. And there's me looking like a big dog talking to Sarah Sweden about WebAssembly in the Q&A session. And so it was pretty cool. I really enjoyed the conference. Uh, so one of the things that really struck me about uh, Amsterdam, I guess Europe in general, was the, uh, the sense of community that everyone had. So while we were running the conference, uh, there were a whole bunch of sideshows. So I think there were four different sideshows. The first one, this one, is uh, NLHTML5, which is their front-end meetup. It's pretty cool. You've got uh, Paul there and his own onesie. Uh, this was a, it was called Front Cheers, which was a pre-drink sort of thing. There was trivia. This lot won a bunch of umbrellas. Uh, it was, I can't remember what this one was called, but there's uh, Paul, what are the Pauls? <laughs> Giving us a, a pop quiz about ridiculous, ridiculous things. Um, this one was Roll Drinks, which was the accessibility meetup, which was uh, pretty cool. We heard from a bunch of people. And just to break out of, out of this, we have our own accessibility meetup in Brisbane. So if you Google Brisbane Web Accessibility right now, if you're interested, uh, you'll find that we have a meetup happening on Thursday, and so you should go along to that if you're into that kind of thing. And here's the team that runs Frontiers. Super team. I have so much respect for what these folks have done. Uh, it was an awesome show. And so, what have I taken away from this whole experience? <laughs> so, I was traveling home via Canada, as you do around the world trip. I was, uh, my very last day, I was in Vancouver, which looks a bit like this, <laughs> if you have a 3D camera. Uh, and I was just walking around, sort of aimlessly. I wasn't going anywhere in particular, I just wanted to get out, sort of see the sights. And I stumbled upon the Rainbow Crosswalk at uh, Davies Street, kind of a, like a, a gay village, I guess. And it brought up a whole bunch of feelings, actually, that I've been suppressing while I was away. Um, if you remember back home, we had the uh, postal survey, which was totally fucked. All my <laughs> friends were a cross between angry, angry and depressed. We had people spray painting swastikas on houses. Like, and I came to the realization, I don't want to come back. Who wants to come back to that? And so I was walking across this bridge, I can't remember what the bridge is called, and I realized, you know, instead of running away from everything, maybe it's an opportunity, you know, maybe it's a responsibility, maybe I have the responsibility to stick around and try and make things better in our community, instead of running away to where everything's perfect, um, yeah, try and make things better for everyone else. And so, I guess the elephant in the room, if we have a look at it, who's around today, who's speaking today, we have a diversity issue with Chris JS. Um, this isn't a, a, a reflection on the speakers, on the audience, on anyone. This is just sort of what's happened. And some people might say that this is sort of our industry. And you know, I think that's a load of bullshit. Because if you look back at all of our talks, until this year, we only had two women ever speak at British Radio. And that's not cool. I don't want that. I don't think you folks want that. I think everyone here who I've spoken to is a good person. Like, you're driven, amazing people. Like, you're here tonight. That's a testament to that. Uh, so things need to change. So I guess what I wanted to say is I'm not really any more qualified to stand up here and talk to you than 
than anyone else. I just do it because, you know, I enjoy it. It's a bit of fun and learn a whole bunch when I do. Uh, and we've had feedback. The coming to Bridge Day is going to be intimidating for people. And, and can you imagine speaking in front of, of all these people? That could be even more intimidating. And that's something that I, I, I know we don't, we don't want that. That's not something we can have. So if you look at it from an outsider's perspective, look at our industry as a whole, and all the crappy things, like women in particular have to put up with in our industry, like pay disparity is a big one. You come to things like casual sexism, you might not notice it, it's there. Full blown harassment, like this must be exhausting. So my postal survey hell lasted two months. This thing, this thing is permanent, like, it's always there. So what can we do about this? It's something I've been thinking about for a while now. There's no quick fix. But I think one thing that we need to recognize is that this is everyone's problem. This isn't something we can just sort of dump on you know, women and minorities and say, hey, you know, we've got this problem with diversity, come fix it, yeah? That's, like, these people, they're exhausted and they don't have time for this. Um, we need to take their input, obviously, but this is our problem to solve. So, I guess some of the things that I, I'd suggest, like, in our industry, I mean, we've all done stupid shit in the past to various degrees, but um, that doesn't mean we can't make things better now, right? And so, some of the things I'd like to say, call out your colleague for making idiots, idiot jokes at other people's expenses. Like, it's not cool. If it makes someone feel uncomfortable, like, you shouldn't be saying that. Stop to listen to what other people are saying rather than talking all the time. We, I think this is a, a man thing, I totally do it. Is you just talk and talk and talk about yourself all the time. It's, you've got to stop and listen. Other people have things to say as well. Uh, and finally, we need to respect, encourage, and support women to do the things that they do, to make these, these spaces for themselves, to come up and talk. We need to encourage, encourage this and make it, and just make people feel welcome, I suppose. So what are we doing right now to help make ChrisJS a more diverse place? So firstly, you might have seen, not that. <laughs> <laughs> We have a code of conduct, uh, which you've probably seen on various meetups. <laughs> we have a code of conduct. Uh, you've probably seen this on various meetups, on the pub meets, on the uh, on the website. This is sort of designed around what uh, what JSConf and CSSConf in uh, down south are doing. Also, various other meetups are also doing similar things like this. I suggest you have a read of it. Um, the idea behind this is not so much that people are doing bad things, but if they do happen, people have some recourse. And that can mean the difference between wanting to go to a meetup and you know, wanting to stay at home because you just don't want to deal with that stuff. So jump on the website, you can anonymously report a problem, come to talk to one of the organizers, and we can sort stuff out. So obviously, we're hoping it never comes to this. We're a pretty decent group, but it's, it's a safety net, you know. Some of the other things, amongst other things, are I've started a few groups. So we have the uh, Brisbane LGBT and Allies in Tech meetup, which is something I started because I realized I don't actually know that many of my peers in the industry. And essentially what this is, it's just a uh, monthly catch up for drinks in a pub somewhere and, you know, get to know each other. And so I'm hoping from that we'll be able to sort of you know, get more people to come out to events like this. Uh, we also have the Global Diversity CFP Day, which is something we're running in February. And the idea of this one is that uh, we're looking at giving, I guess, minorities and, and uh, folks the skills that they need to apply to talk at tech conferences. Uh, well, not even necessarily tech conferences, but give people the skills and sort of uh, sow the seed that, you know, you can do this. You don't, it doesn't take anyone special to get up here and do this. And really, I guess, I just want to get more people, more diverse people up here speaking on the stage. 
Um, so if you know anyone who's been hesitant, who might be you know, good, has something to share with the crowd, um, you know, let them know that maybe they should put their hand up and have a talk at Bristol AS. Uh, or if this talk has given you the push that you need to get up here and you know, share your stories, you know, give us your knowledge, then definitely come and talk to me because this is something that I think everyone should try at least once. And um, look, I don't pretend to know everything either. So if you want to help make BrizJS a more diverse place, a better place, then um, yeah, come up and talk to me if you've got ideas for improving things or, or what we can do from there. Um, because you know, things don't have to be this way. And I'm hoping in 2018, we can do a lot better. That's pretty much all.